Hello and welcome back to friends, it's me, Odo, and we are back in our campaign of um, Puff Under Wrath of the Righteous. Um, we are in the Crusaders camp, and I think I'm more or less through with the, with the map of the camp. I wasn't in any of these rooms, of these things. Field medic, commander's tent, hero bait's tent, Nura Dendivar's tent, whatever. Yeah, okay. Is there any loot? Yeah, there is loot. Let's take it. Take everything. Scroll of Glitterbuff. Yay. Let's go into Turbate's tent first. Let's see what we'll find there. This is mine and Anivia's tent. We're both used to traveling. Uh, we can't talk to her. Interesting. Yeah, let's loot everything. What's that? Adventures of Fearless Crusade. Brigitte the sausage maker. Okay. Ooh. It's a magic half plate. Half plate of Lego. Ah, come on. What can this do? This is armor plus 10. That's nice. Base armor 8. Plus 2. Plus two enhancement bonus to constitution. That's interesting. Sealer can probably wear this. Uh, yep, yeah, it's a better armor. And it gives plus two constitution. That's nice. The pig can't wear it. Nor can anyone else. Yep. There is some loot. A scythe, whatever scythe is. Let's collect everything. Okay, what's that? Uh, this massive bed is, is clean and neatly made. Only commanding is allowed to uh, allowed such luxury during marches. Okay. Okay, so there is nothing inside but loot. Okay. I can live with that. Interesting. What was this? There's the storyteller again. Okay. Mm, let's see. Um, let's move here because there is some, some loot. <laughs> let's move here because there is also some loot. Ooh, there it is. Let's collect this, let's collect that, let's collect this, let's make everything with this for money. Nice. Now, is there any loot left? Oh, let's see. Uh, We look in this direction, so... As we look in this... Have to serve commander. Hmm. Yeah... 
these are the fight. Oh, okay, so we are now in the Eagle's Watch part of the of the camp. Is this right? Europath. Okay. Eagle Watch encampment. No, this is the Eagle Watch encampment. Okay. Um. Phew. Yeah, let's let's look at everything else. Nora Dandivar's tent, Urbate's tent, this is the commander's tent. There's a there must be some some um there must be some trade. This is Nura Dendiva's tent. It seems she brought a lot of unnecessary items along with her. Ooh, a lot of loot. Like books, divine. More books. He learned the secrets of needle guards. More books. Without a shadow of a doubt, expecting nothing in return, the life and feats of Lord Axidal Transport. Sounds nice. Ooh, yeah, mists fire. Ooh, scrolls. Stuff. It's got everything. We need everything. Can you please not just disintegrate all the time? This is the field medic and the chapel tent and the commander. So let's go. Yeah. Let's go here. Interesting. That's a letter. Make an arborist be damned. Anonymous pamphlet. I spit. On the streets of Canabras, I spit on its granite walls and its stained glass windows. If tomorrow the ground trembles, splits apart, and divorces this cursed city, I will not add one tear. Whatever. Let's take it, we can sell it. Who's this guy? Siva. Ah, no, it's not a guy. It's Siva. We already talked to her. Okay, we wanted to enter the field. So it's this, this place. This is the field hospital, and that's the cleric of Pinabris suffered especially heavy losses. We are few, but the gods are with us. Prayers of good Visali Ratimus. And Kiado, we already talked to them in the inn, I, I remember. In search of joy, that's good. Let's talk to this guy. Blah 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 blah. Let's let's show me this card for a second. Let's sell everything to him that we just found. Plus more. Like probably not that one. What's this scythe? Yeah, no. no one really fights with the scythe. We could also sell these. Now let's sell this. And why didn't we give this to Len? Scabbard of Heirloom Sword. Interesting. Yeah. Do we need all these books? I don't think so. 
I mean, we opened them. Can you also buy the severe tat, please? Thank you. And also this fork. It's really interesting. Okay. Let's sell all of this. Please act like I'm what? Oh, there is Camellia. Why is she here? Kyado. Oh no, you're not talking to me. Okay. Let's ask him who he is. He's Sunny Ratimus, former rector of the Calabrese Temple of Abadar. Now your humble servant. In times like these, one cannot serve the god of cities while sitting comfortably behind city walls. You pursue a sacred course. And I will help you in any way I can. I await your orders, Commander. Lead on, uh, lead us onward to Dresden. Okay. How did you end up on the battlefield? He has a story like that, but mine is a rather boring one. Believe it or not, it was bureaucracy. When the old rector of the Knabra's temple died, my may Abadar rest his soul, the church required a replacement. I volunteered and served for 30 years without incident. I prayed, organized festivals and funerals, bought candles, sanctified water, boring mundane things that make up the daily routine of civilized society. Ah, this is a guy to my liking. <laughs> no extremes, rather staying totally in the center of everything. But then civilized society failed and it was time for me to go to war. Praise Abadar, who led me through the ruins of the Defender's Hearts. Who's that boy with you? Uh, didn't I ask that already? His apprentice. He'll be a great cleric when he gets a little older. First, if you need a scroll with a divine spell, I have a lot of them. Something for every emergency. Second, while you're at the camp, I can read any scroll for you. Guaranteed, no surprises. Okay. Ah, yes, the corruption. I think this will be important to us. As you know, the wound is a rift between Galarian and the Abyss, and all the evil that feeds the Abyss does the opposite in our world. It feeds on Galarian. So it is that even when we cannot see demons near us, our ultimate foe, the Abyss, is always surrounding us. Many soldiers fighting in the world wound experience similar things. They suffer terrible nightmares, get no peace, and sometimes even lose their minds. Okay. But we are trained to help you with this affliction. By the will of Abadar, I have consecrated an altar here. The God's grace permeates the space around it, soothing one's soul and quieting thoughts during rest. So if you find your nerves are fraying, seek out a holy place like this, approach it and all the corruption will be cleansed from you. Yeah, well, I have to go. Okay, Camellia, did we talk to her already? Yeah. Okay, this was the field medics then. Now there is the chapel tent. Let's enter here as well. We outfitted this tent to be used at our chapel. Even the last pious crusaders will come here to say their prayers when the final battle is upon us. I see it happened in many previous campaigns. Okay. Ooh, a lot of temple. Out of Saren Ray, the healing light, the goddess of the sun, healing and redemption. Okay. Philomucus, out of Esmond, the great, the great dreamer, goddess of freedom, travel and luck. Interesting. This is different. 
This place has been sanctified. It can protect the area around it. it. Can protect the area around it from the corruption of the abyss. Hmm. Interesting. Out of Iomeda, yeah. Oh no. Okay. Altar of Aristil, Old Dead Eye, God of Hunting, Farming, and the Quiet Pastoral Life. And there is some um, Dwarf Gods of Torak, yeah, Father of Creation, the Dwarf God of Crafting King. Oh, I'm so good. Ah, so good. I don't know. What God did I choose at the start of the game? Ah, we move towards neutral evil. That's not good. So we need to do good thing then. Probably. Um, is there the possibility to see my god abilities? Huh. In Gosra. The favored weapon is a trident. Interesting. Why did I choose her? Probably she was the one with the with the most neutral kind of um, thing. <laughs> okay. So let's move out again. Let's go to the commander's tent. Let's see what hap what what happens there. If we enter here, enter the commander's tent. Queen Gelfry, ah, oh, commander's chest. Let's take the chest. Ah, this is my chest. Let's see. I see. Piece of the holy thing. Let's put this. I don't think that I need that on my road. Okay, so this is my tent. And there is some loot. Yes. Let's collect all. <laughs> More loot. Interesting. Really, uh, really a lot of loot. Well, it's just money loot, isn't it? Okay. Okay. In Golfrey and Social. Who's Social? Did I? Talk to Social? Mura? Neutral Hawk? didn't talk to any of these but the queen. So let's talk to the queen first. The queen greets you with a stare. She has dropped a pompous air with which she just announced the fifth crusade. The face of the ruler of Mendev appears calm and thoughtful. She has made her move and now waits her opponent's reply. Commander, I am satisfied with the troop review. But I do not expect they will be sufficient for the task. You will have to prove yourself a shrewd leader and hire the necessary troops with the provided funds. Okay. Do you provide the funds? I have chosen a target for your campaign, and that target is Dresden, our lost outpost within the world wound. Mm -hmm. The Sword of Valor was kept there, a banner that was once carried by Alameda herself. Our greatest relic was lost when the city fell. I should make one thing clear from the start. The Sword of Valor is no mere symbol, but a powerful weapon against demons. The holiness of the banner weakens them and robs them of one of their most dangerous abilities, teleportation. Mm -hmm. A forced march to Dresden awaits you. The Sword of Valor is kept somewhere within the Citadel. The demons probably think it's a hunting trophy. 
Its recovery is just as important as retaking the city itself. I hope the task is clear. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing two specialists to help you, along with the soldiers. A historian, Laura Dendoir, and a cleric, Sozial Vainik. Mm -hmm. So, um, the Nura guy with the with all of the books, <laughs> the historian, and social is a cleric. Okay, we need cleric. One of the famous inquisitors of the Church of Iomade also wants to talk to you, the Honorable Leota, whom everyone calls Hawkblade. Mm -hmm. I do not wish to keep you, Commander. The matter I must discuss with you is extremely important. Okay. It's not directly related to the crusade. You no doubt wish to meet your new comrades and speak with her majesty. Therefore, I shall leave you now. But I ask that you seek me out in the camp at your earliest convenience. Okay. Hi! Listen, it's amazing here. It's like I'm in a ballad. There's knights in shining armor, deadly dangers, glorious... Okay. We're going to show those demons! I'm so tired of sitting in a library reading books about history. This is the historian. I took part in it. <laughs> mm. Rather interesting, okay. I'm glad to help our cause, Commander. If you have some time later, I'd like to speak with you further. Okay. You'll have plenty of time to talk. You're the Knight Commander's people now. His trusted advisors and companions. Now then, will you please leave us? Irabeth, you can go too. Okay. <clears throat> when we met at the Defender's Heart, I never imagined you'd make me the commander of a new crusade. Um, I have some questions about my mission to retake the dragon. Did you know that the souls of angels from heaven are confined in the Wardstone? Hmm. Let, let's ask the first Some question. Why not? Be deemed bold, or even extreme. And beyond those, there are some you might call the Queen's last resort. I am not a simple monarch. Hmm. I am at war with the Abyss. A war which has lasted over a hundred years. I cannot allow myself the luxury of caution. In you, I see a chance. And I am willing to stake everything on it. Yeah, of course. Uh, a fox running around as a human, running around um, just just kidding stuff. <laughs> However, you cannot blame me for putting you in charge of the crusade. I only formalized what had already happened in the hearts and minds of many. People spoke of the power that descended upon you and helped you save the wardstones from corruption and total destruction. I did destroy it. The word of this feat quickly spread far beyond the borders of Mendev. There was no other person who could better fit the role of Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. You, you know that I, I actually destroyed the wardstone. Did you know that the souls of angels from heaven are confined in the wardstone? I guess as much. Many angels fought alongside us in the first crusade. Heaven was unable to mobilize its full might to aid us, but individual celestials volunteered to fight for our cause. Then one day, they all vanished, saying that they were setting off on an important mission. Not long after, Iomade's herald erected the first wardstone in Kenobris. And then the others in cities across Mendev. Even back then, I had nagging doubts. But my faith in Iomade easily assuaged them. It is for us to serve the goddess, after all, not to question her works. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. Do the crazy um, fundamentalist stuff, because God knows what to do. <laughs> and gain control over the wardstone in Canobris. We might have lost one of the wardstones, but the chain is still standing. Mm, yeah, I will, but you know, as I am true neutral, I will free all the other angels as well. Uh, should I? Yeah, well. And what are you going to do? Should I tell that to her? 
Yeah, why not? I knew him. He disappeared shortly before the world wind grew, and Dresden fell into the enemy's hands. In the chaos, we had more important concerns than investigating the fate of a single angel. Even mm -hmm. one so righteous and beloved as Lariel. And afterward, matters took a turn for the worse. How old the is she? Left us to go on their special mission. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Being entrapped in wardstones. It is so strange to hear the names I used to hear when I was young. Like getting a message from the past. It is sad news. But it brings me back to the times when we strongly believed in our victory. And we rushed headlong toward it without fear. Could it be that such times have come again? Um, you know... You look like you're just 25 or something. And you speak about things that happened probably hundreds of years ago. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, uh, what are you going to do? Overlooking a spot of insubordination just at the moment. However, I shall answer you. I shall prepare the defenses at Nerosian and all the other border cities and plan the future of the Fifth Crusade. Does that satisfy your curiosity, Knight Commander? I didn't hear a word you said because I was just baffled um, <laughs> about my uh, answer possibilities. Um, <sighs> requires Angel, my queen, I'd ask you to remain with us. The Dresden campaign is the hope of the crusade and the blessing of Iomide. That you carry may be decisive in this battle. Uh, does the Church of Iomide really spend so much effort prolonging your life? Queen, just so you can watch the battle from the rear, you are living you are the living banner of the crusade, and your duty is on the front lines. Oh. Interesting. She probably is really, really old. <laughs> okay, uh, I I I said I will go the Eon Mythic path. I mean, here it is lawful. Why is this, why is it lawful? I thought Eon is is true neutral. Uh, I don't think that this will um, affect the possibility what uh, other Mythic traits I can take on Mythic Tier Three. Uh, so I don't think that I have to take this to take the Eon later on. I hope, I hope so at least. Um, we could take the good because we are a bit down to the neutral evil, and with good we would go more straight into the true neutral. So let's take this, whatever this does. Uh, yes, of course. I don't know if you realize what you're suggesting. If our enemies in the depths of the wound were to discover that I was with your army, they would immediately send their most vicious demons to attack. They would stop at nothing to be rid of me, and thereby sow chaos across Mendel. Yeah, whatever. But you are right. I shouldn't be sitting it out in the rear. I am a warrior queen, and a queen of warriors. If my fighters have forgotten what I look like, Fine. I shall join the crusade, but on my own terms. First, I shall assemble my entourage and lead the parade out of the camp. I shall catch up with you later, along with a few hand-picked bodyguards. We'll change our armor, and I'll become a knight of a minor order and join the troops incognito. Okay, whatever. Until we approach Dresden, no one should know I am among you. But before we storm the city, I shall show myself to the troops and join the battle. Let it be a surprise for the demons. I hope you won't complain of my company on the road, Commander, since you were the one who insisted upon it. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? Yeah, yeah. how can I get rid of you again? <laughs> I'm not sure if I want this. I mean, it will help with the with the morale in the, in the fight over Dresden. I've guess <laughs> that she's with us 
Um, yeah, whatever. How did the demons manage to conquer the... That's a good question. Its walls were built by dwarf craftsmen, and the power of the Sword of Valor protected the city. Alas, where raging hordes failed, a single lying tongue was all they needed to succeed. The demoness Minago convinced a young and ambitious crusader named Staunton Bane that the banner belonged on the battlefield. He went on a daring and unapproved raid. And the banner ended up in the enemy's hands. The city fell soon after. Ever since then, for seven decades, it has served as a citadel for the forces of the abyss. Okay. The great garrison, he defected to the demon's side. Oh, really? I wasn't informed of this. After Dresden fell because of Staunton, he was nearly sentenced to death. He deserved it. In wartime, men are hanged for far less. But you have no idea what a terrible sight it is. A raging crowd of crusaders baying for blood. Never have my fighters looked so much like the demons we are fighting. Okay. I commuted Staunton's sentence and stripped him of his rank. Not just for him, but for my army and my country. We are not hell knights. We do not maintain discipline with public executions. You don't? Okay, we can do some good thing, some chaotic thing, some lawful thing, and some evil thing. Um, I mean, she's an Iomide a paladin, so she's a good guy and she's lawful. So if we say something like that, it will be better for, for our relation to her. It was a tough choice, I understand. Uh, you punished him with a life of disgrace and humiliation. And that life finally broke him. It's sad, but not surprising. You could have exiled him, and let him go wherever he wanted. That way, he would have either changed his life for the better, or realized he had no one to blame but himself. He shouldn't have stayed, have stayed the hand of justice if he Died, he wouldn't be, be, be betraying you again now. Good point, I guess. <laughs> Can't believe no one decided to punish him unofficially. The past is in the past. What matters now is that he's fighting for the other side. I expect we'll meet him in Dresden. Okay. Um, yeah, well, that's... that's so let's take the neutral way. Given to us to learn from and to avoid making the same mistakes. But you're right about one thing. I am sure we shall hear more from this twice turned traitor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone we saw today at the parade. First among them, the Eagle Watch, who remain a powerful force thanks to Erebeth's resourcefulness. Mm -hmm. Also marching with you are several minor knightly orders as the minor volunteer units like to be called. And finally, I have personally selected some recruits from Nerosian. They have little in the way of battle experience, but great determination and a thirst to prove themselves. I've always thought that an army benefits from at least one such unit. Okay. These forces, as I said, are not enough for a march on Dresden. You will have to hire additional troops with the funds that have been provided to you. But for a brave commander, and I hope you are one. That is just the beginning. If you retake Dresden, recover the holy power of the Sword of Valor, and gain a foothold in the region, then new armies will join under your banner. The Fifth Crusade is only beginning. Many battles and victories lie ahead. Okay. It's been decades and no one has managed to retake the city. Why do you think we're different? We have a chance now that we haven't seen in decades. But it's more than that. You created this chance for us by foiling the demon's plans in Canabris. The army who attacked the city came straight from Dresden. Demon hordes from the Abyss are usually encamped there, but many of them perished on the streets of Canabris. We must attack swiftly before they can restore their forces. When the city is free and the Sword of Valor appears before our soldiers, they won't be sending in any more reinforcements. Demons cannot teleport into an area protected by the banner of the goddess. 
Okay. What about long-term goals? Do you know how to get rid of the world forever? Now you are talking like a real knight commander. However, answering your question is not easy. To win this war, we must bar the demon's way. There are a few planar rifts leading to the abyss across the territory. We call the world wound. The best specialists we could find have tried to close them on separate occasions. With no success, as you may have guessed. The world mm -hmm. is more than just a chain of portals to the abyss. We do not understand its nature yet. The methods of rift closure known to magical science simply do not work here. Mm -hmm. However, we have a hypothesis, and a rather well-grounded one, that we must begin at the source of the problem, the place where the world wound was opened. The main rift lies through the city of Iz and the threshold fortress deep in the former lands of Sakoris. We have never managed to fight our way so far and gain a foothold to allow the mages to explore the origins of the world wound. So, the next step, after you succeed in Dresden, is an offensive push deeper into the world wound, with the aim mm -hmm. of the threshold, mm -hmm. the very threshold of the abyss. Okay. Wonderful. Task is Splendid. Ah, uh, yes. We have one final matter to attend to. It should be rather enjoyable. Should it? Count, there you are. You received my instructions? I did, though I did not have time to read the thing before I was dragged before your majesty. In truth, I was readying myself to depart. Huh. No matter. I trust you will forgive your sovereign for the rather brusque summons, especially when you learn what prompted it. As you are aware, he has recently been appointed my Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. I spent a long while pondering whom to appoint to the highly sensitive post of Commander's Field Attaché and Advisor Plenipotentiary without portfolio. Congratulations, Count. Ah, oh my god. It is a great honor, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a great idea. Awful, a rather frivolous gesture for a queen. Chaotic. He's he's um, neutral evil, isn't he? Yeah. What a wonderful gesture, Your Majesty. I imagine our dear Count would have been inconsolable. Inconsolable if you hadn't given him the chance to serve the common cause. <laughs> I have no need of this uh, advisor. <laughs> okay, we could get rid of him probably by th saying this. I don't want to get rid of him. He's, he's a really, really great healer. <sighs> So we could play stupid and don't take one of these. And it's a cool expression wavers, but he seems not to be fully cognizant of what is happening. That or he is holding himself tightly in check. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Then brings her gaze to rest on Aaron once more. I had my doubts about whether you were ready for such a responsibility, Count. But your conduct in Kenobris has put my mind at ease. So, you will... She hates him so much, probably. Only the commander may remove you from your post. But I trust that you will dutifully fulfill his orders and make a good showing of yourself. Yeah, of course. Especially since word of your appointment, Count, will reach the court at any moment. All of Mendev's nobility will be following your successes in service to the nation, including all of your devoted admirers. I even heard that one bard with whom you are particularly friendly has already begun composing a ballad to honor your heroic participation in the crusade and your faithful service to the commander here. Really, did she? 
largesse truly knows no bounds, dear cousin. I am most, most gratified by the honor you have shown me. Okay. I mean, he's Azimar. Why is he... Um, yeah, because the Azimar sometimes uh, come through something like that. Then let's get going. May Ayomade help us. Yeah, whatever. Yay, we have talked to the queen. We are so good. And my time is also up for some time. But this was only while I was talking, so I didn't stop for now. Anivia, yay. I like her. She's quite nice. Um, Probably, I don't know. Um, anyway, we will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.